All right, we've got our heart drawing. Now we're gonna just redraw it and add the ways in and out of our heart with our deoxygenated blood and our oxygenated blood. So let's relabel these just for a second. We've got the right side here and the left side here. Remember your patient is facing you. And so the right side is deoxygenated. The left side has oxygen. And so now we're thinking about how can we get the deoxygenated blood over to the oxygenated side? How can we oxygenate it and get it over to the oxygenated side and then get that out to the body? Well, first we need to bring the blood in. And we can only come in to the upstairs of the heart, if you will, the atrium here, excuse me, the right atrium. So let's go into the right atrium with our deoxygenated blood. How are we gonna get in? We're gonna go through two large portals. One is called the superior vena cava, or vena cava, whatever you want to say is fine, as long as you know what it is. The inferior vena cava is here. And so our deoxygenated blood enters the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava from the systemic circulation and returns the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're in the right atrium. We don't have any oxygen. We need to go downstairs or we need to go into the muscular part of the heart so we can get to the lungs. Remember this room downstairs is the left, is the, I'm sorry, is the right ventricle. I'm having trouble with directions tonight. The right ventricle. And we need to go down from the right atrium. It's mostly going to happen from gravity, but we'll think about the right atrium as pushing the blood down to the right ventricle with just a little squeeze at the end to make sure it gets in there. And we've got to go through a door. Now remember, we're calling doors valves. So this particular valve is called the tricuspid valve. Right, so that's the door we've got to go through, and then we've got to close it on the way uh, so that blood is not allowed to go back up into the right atrium. So we've got our deoxygenated blood. It falls downstairs, essentially, into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. We shut this door behind us so the blood doesn't regurgitate, and then we have to get out of this right ventricle because we still have to go to the lungs. How we're going to get out of this right ventricle is through something called the pulmonary which means lung, trunk. The trunk is just a branch or a bridge to get somewhere, and trunks usually divide. So that's what happens here. This pulmonary trunk is going to divide into a right pulmonary artery and a left pulmonary artery. Right, so I've got to go through a door again, and then I'm gonna go into the pulmonary trunk, which is this, and then the left pulmonary artery and the right pulmonary artery on the way to the lungs. And I said I have to shut a door every time I leave one of these rooms. We've got four rooms. That means we're gonna have four doors or four valves we need to shut. This valve is called the pulmonary, because it's going to the lungs, semi-lunar, which means half moon, lunar valve. All right, so that door we're going to shut behind us is the pulmonary semi-lunar valve, and then we're going to go into the pulmonary trunk that will split into the right and left pulmonary arteries and go to the lungs, where we're going to get some oxygen, and now we can come back to the heart. We're going to come in on the oxygenated side, we can only come in through a vein, and we're going to come in to the left atrium. All right, so the left side is our oxygenated side. I said you can only enter the heart upstairs, and you may only return to the heart through a vein. So these are going to be veins one, two, we'll just call it three, and four, or the four pulmonary veins. 
the four pulmonary veins, you've got two from the right side, two from the left, and you'll see their entrances on the plastic heart model. The four pulmonary veins are carrying oxygenated blood from the lungs back into the heart, and they're gonna enter upstairs to the left side, so the left atrium. Now we've got all this oxygen on this side, we need to get it downstairs, and we need to go down through a door to the left ventricle. The left ventricle is very large. It's very muscular because it has to pump to the entire body, including against gravity up to your brain and perfuse all your organs, etc., all the way down to your toes and the tips of your fingers. So it has a long way to go and it has to push a bit. And we're going to go through a door on the way down to the left ventricle with our oxygenated blood, and that door is the bicuspid valve. And then we're gonna close that door behind us once we're in the left ventricle, because we don't want any blood to go back up to the left atrium or regurgitate. So we're in the left ventricle, we've got all this oxygen, let's get out of here and finish this. Let's go out the aorta. And the aorta is going to split into all of the things that you'll hear about uh, when we do vessels and go to the brain particularly and go to the arms and the legs and the organs and the muscles and the skin and all these things. And we want to think we have to go through a door to get to the aorta and that door, just like the pulmonary semilunar valve over here, that door is going to be called the aortic semilunar valve. And as you know, you have to shut it behind you so that blood doesn't get sucked back into the left ventricle when the heart empties. So the blood is going to go out through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta and then to the system or to the body. All right. Anything in the lungs was pulmonic. Anything in the body is systemic. So out to the system and perfuse the body with oxygen, and then we're going to start all over again and come in up here on the right side with our deoxygenated blood. So trace it. Know that you have to close a door every time you leave a room. There are four rooms. When you leave, uh, I'm sorry, when you come to the heart, you must come in through a vein. When you leave the heart, you must leave through an artery. Again, if it's called a trunk, it just splits. At this point, the pul pulmonary splits into the right and left pulmonary arteries that are leaving the heart. Here we have four pulmonary veins that are returning to the heart. 